What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on this Q-Lay. I got this Q-Lay from MadeAmericaPool.com and this is the professional large four headstock and this is what it comes with. This is a modified tailstock with a professional half inch drill, drill truck. You can actually loosen this and slide it around and over here this is where you would do for your centering for your tailstock to your large bore headstock. This is a tool post. It comes with two cutting tools. This one it's to slide it um, forward and back and this one actually goes on the bed when this is inserted and you can actually it comes removable where you can actually just slide it and you can actually lock it and for the large bore stock the biggest advantage of this this actually fits a butt of a cue and I can actually have this this is actually magnetized and I can actually have a dial indicator set up here this is the DC motor this is a three-fourths DC motor um, it also comes with a power supply and I'll be showing you that the bed itself is 48 inches long and it's a one piece, it's not two pieces where you have to join it so you know you're going to get accurate work. This is a steady rest with a bearing. What he comes with is a clever idea, I like this. These are actually little hoses, he cuts it and actually holds the shaft uh, perfectly. I'll put that on. One advantage of this Q-Lathe, it also comes with a four chuck, four, four jaw chuck and it comes comes here and this is where you can actually loosen it and remove it. This will actually hold the butt of a cue if you're actually doing a joint work in the front. For the power supply, I mounted it over here. It also comes with a foot pedal. This is the plug itself and it plugs in the back of the power supply. It changes the RPMs as you press on the pedal itself. But if your foot pedal is not hooked up, you can actually change the RPM on the motor over here with this rotary dial from your low to high. This is your master switch of your power supply. This is your off and your on position. This switch right here turns the motor into a forward, off, and reverse. And this power supply, it converts AC into DC. Some of the accessories the QLA comes with are some of the collets. These collets is for the shaft itself. This is the front part of the shaft, and this is the back part of the shaft. And these collets are for the butt itself. This is if you need to do joint work. This is the collet you would use, and of course, it'll hold it on the back part of the butt itself. This tool right here, of course, is for the drill chuck itself. It's to loosen and tighten if you need to tighten your drills or a tap. And this tool took me a while because this was like a punch. This is how you would actually help align your tailstock into your headstock. You would insert it here, and with these rods, you can actually close it and open it. As you go this way, this would open it. Going this way would actually close it. This is for holding a tip. This is a little bit smaller than 14 millimeters. So I'm gonna be changing this out. This is like a livestock. This goes to your tail stock itself and you would press on your tip. And of course it comes with all the Allen wrenches. The most important probably is this Allen wrench because this holds, this changes the angle of your tool bit. And this also loosens and tightens your tailstock. One thing about having a lay, you gotta make sure your tailstock is aligned to your headstock itself. And one way to do it is they give you a little punch. You would insert it into the chuck itself. You would tighten it with these rods. Once that is tightened, make sure this part of the tailstock is loose. This is the Allen wrench. I already centered this, so I'm not gonna loosen it. You would loosen this. This would slide back and forth. Once this slides back and forth this way, you can actually insert this into the punch itself, tighten this knob, and once you tighten it, this will help you align into your center. So once that is tightened, this should give you a rough estimate of center, but the best way to actually do it is using dead centers. I'm gonna go ahead and insert these and show you how accurate this lay is. The way I center my tailstock to my headstock is using the dead centers itself. It is of course having this tight on the chuck itself and seeing what your run out is. So the best I got on this run out is about two thousandths off. And of course you do both. And once you get it all centered, you would see how accurate actually this lay is itself. You can see the points as this moves in, they actually hit 
itself and you can see how dead center this uh, QLA is. One advantage of having a large bore headstock is you can actually pass your whole cue through the headstock itself. The whole butt will actually fit all the way through the headstock and even on the four, four job chuck, it'll go all the way through. That's one of the advantage of having a large bore stock. You can actually do accurate joint works if you're actually building a cue. I got my shaft partially installed in this cue leg. Instead of using the collets, I like using this leather burnisher. Once I get it all snug dead in the proper depth I need, I'll actually lock it up on the four, on the four jaw itself. Once that's firmly in place and snap moving, I will go to the steady rest and then slide this back. And once that's held firmly, then I would lock it in in the back. This steady rest will help help the shaft from oscillating itself. Since I got the shaft on the lay, let's go ahead and listen to the motor and see how loud it is. But before we do that, I always like to check, make sure I got no interference because it comes with this little tool. This tool actually locks it. I just like to remove it. That way I don't have any interference itself. So let's go ahead and turn it on on the power supply. But before we turn it on, I always make sure my rotary dial is on the lowest position. This is on the off position because you have your on and on, off. And then this is your master switch. Once we turn on the master switch, then we'll set it to forward. And we can actually see my shaft turning and listen to how loud the motor is. And if I need to increase the RPMs, I'll just change it on the rot rotary dial. And you can see how pretty straight this shaft is and how loud the motor is itself. For turning off the machine, what I like to do is actually use this switch itself, the on off on switch, instead of using the master switch. I'll just place it on the center position and of course the motor will stop running instead of having it on and off and messing up the power supply. Because if I need to go work again, I can actually just press it to the forward position. And then when I'm done, I'll just hit it in the off position. If I'm completely done, then I'll just turn it off. I just did a brief review on this professional large bore headstock from Mid-America Culate. Hopefully this video is informative. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>